Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today. I am in my kitchen looking out at a cloudy sky and lots of wind blowing the trees around. We have a storm heading our way, so you may even hear my wind chime. But it is the end of June and I'm looking ahead at July and setting up my Unbound Planner and I'm excited to share that with you today. So first off, I'll share with you some of the supplies I used. Of course, I used my Louise Hay Colors and Numbers book, and I'll link below the video I have where I explain more about that system. But if you've been following me for a while, then you know this is one of my go-to resources when I'm setting up my planner and calendar. I also used just one or two stickers from the Happy Planner sticker book, Farmhouse. And I also picked up a few new washi tapes for this month. These are all on Amazon, so I'll link these below. This one is just the months, and I liked that these were a little bit bigger, bolder font than what the Unbound Planner comes with. So just something to kind of change it up, make it a little easier to read. I also grabbed one that has the days of the week, and that's working nicely for my weekly layouts where I want to be able to read the uh, days of the week a little bit more clearly. And finally, I got one that has the numbers 1 through 31, so you can just peel them off. They're actually perforated in between, and again, using that just to make the numbers a little more easily read in my weekly spread. And for pens, I have actually added a couple of new things, which I'm excited about, so I'll start from left to right. Of course, I have my friction pen. That's still one of my go-to pens that I love using. In my Unbound Planner, I just like the flexibility of being able to erase and start over, and I tend to make mistakes a lot, so that works out well. So this is the 07 size, and this is what I have been using for a long time. Recently, I discovered the Friction uh, Multicolor Pens, and I've been wanting to do a little bit more color coding in my planner. So this is the one I grabbed first, and this has three colors. It has black, blue, and red. And this is actually 0.38 on the uh, tip size, so it's very, very small, very fine, which is fine. Um, that is what I started out with, and that does work nicely in my Unbound Planner since it isn't a huge planner. It's just an A5 size, so when I'm doing those weekly spreads, it's nice to have something that can write very finely. Then I discovered this one, which also had green. So this is a four-color friction clicker pen. So we have black, blue, green, which I like using the green for all of my Jordan Essentials plans since that's kind of their signature color from their logo, and then red. So I was excited to find this because it allows me to color code even more. This one is an 05, so it's just slightly a larger uh, tip size than the three, but the .38 here, and it's still finer than the 07, which is what I had been using. So between these three, I've kind of use them all to set up my monthly spread um, but for the most part I'm using this gold colored one and the 05 size for my daily writing and note taking in my planner and then of course I went to some of my go-to highlighters which are the mild liners in the gray color in both the chisel tip which I used in a few areas and then also the brush tip and this one um, I like both of these because the finer tip on either end is a little bit different. So the brush tip pen actually has the finest tip and then the chisel tip is a little bit broader of a tip, but it's still, they both work well for, you know, if you're actually writing text. Um, so I use both of those. And then the other new thing I've added is the Zig Clean Color Dot Markers. So I'll link these below as well. I used the color Platinum, and I've really been enjoying having these to use in my planner when I'm making my checklist. It's just fun, they're easy to use, and I like the finished result. So without further ado, let's open up my planner. Um, I did have someone asking me to show what the finished planner looks like at the end of a month. And while I do some journaling and there's just personal things in there that I won't be able to show everything, I did take a look at June. So I'm going to show you that first and just kind of show you how the month of June has been used so far. 
Um, you can go back, I'll link my June setup video so you can see what it looked like when I started. So a couple of things I added, I've been trying to make a better habit of going back to masks. They have opened it up where if you've been vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. Um, they've taken away some of the social distancing restrictions, so I feel more comfortable going. So I did a little um, habit tracker there just with one of the stickers from a sticker book to just help me keep track of that because it feels good to know I've been going consistently. We did have a family vacation in Florida and I even went while we were on vacation. My mom and I found a lovely church to go to right by the beach, which was fun. So this is how I marked out our family vacation. Um, we are actually getting ready to set up for my daughter's birthday party tomorrow. So lots of fun things happening in the month of June. And if you've been following along, then you'll know with my Jordan Essentials business, I'm always trying to earn green by 15, and I earned that again this month. So that was one of my goals in my list here. So that just means I had $500 in sales by the 15th of the month. And when you do that as a consultant for, with Jordan Essentials, then you earn a Joyful Jordan box and you earn the one from the coming month. So I earned the July box and you earn it for free and you get to order it early. So I actually have that in my hot little hands right now. So keep an eye out for a July Joyful Jordan box unboxing video because I'll be filming that next. And besides that, I'm not sure if I've shared it here on my channel. But in April, I am really honored and proud to say that I became a director with Jordan Essentials. And so part of their program, if you promote to a new level and you can keep that level for three months, meaning you have the sales and group volume for those three months in a row, then there's a nice bonus. So I have been making that my goal each month to earn the directorship. I did it again in June, which means for the month of July, I will have a really nice bonus in my commission check. So I'm very excited about that. I'm proud of our team. We've really worked hard and there's a lot of people joining us, which is really fun. So those new people have been working their businesses, learning about Jordan Essentials and setting things up. Um, just lots of fun and exciting things happening and I love the camaraderie and the sisterhood that we have created so just lots of good things happening on the Jordan Essentials and business side of my life um, and then besides that just you know some other things around the home I'm still always working on cleaning out and decluttering um, I still haven't do I have it on here gosh I didn't even write oh yeah the old desk in my living room. I still have not taken that down. I did work a little bit more on rehoming and purging some of the things on there, but I just need to get myself to focus on it. And with this vacation in the middle of the month, it seems like all of a sudden the month of June is just about done. So it's still on my list and I'm still working on it. But that is how the month of June is looking now that we're almost finished with the month. Now, moving on to July. So here is my July setup. And just very simple with grays and blacks and whites for the month of July. Um, like I said, I am doing a little more color coding. So blue tends to be things that are family related or household related. Right now I'm using the black for all of my personal things. And then the green is my Jordan Essentials business. I haven't really used red much. Um, I may go in here and just jot in all of our bills. I've just done some minimal highlighting and outlining to just make it feel a little bit more like my own. This is still one of my favorite things about the Unbound Planner is that it feels kind of like a bullet journal where I get to be a little creative and set things up and make it look how I want it to look. But essentially, it's already laid out for me, so I don't have to think so hard when it's time to set up a new month or set up a new week. And if I don't get around to decorating, it's all still there, so I can still future plan. I can still look ahead, and I'm not missing that part of my um, you know, bullet journal or planner. As much as I love the Unbound Planner, it, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't come with a lot of notes pages at the back. And after having used a bullet journal for so many years, I do still have times where I'm kind of missing that open quality to a bullet journal where it's just an open notebook and you have lots of pages to make notes, to make spreads, to jot things down. And I feel like with the Unbound Planner's limited amount of notes pages, I think it's maybe 10 to 12. Um, I, I'm always afraid to use them because the first year when I had my Unbound Planner, I used them up so quickly and then I was kind of stuck and out of notes page, pages. 
So anyway, this month I had the epiphany that in my little stash of planner supplies upstairs, I have quite a few of these dot grid notebooks from Boho Berry when I was getting the Boho Berry box. And so it's just a blank dot grid notebook. The dots are in her pretty teal color. And I did go through and just add a highlight at the top to give me a place for a heading real easily. But this is sort of my mini bullet journal now that I have stashed inside the back uh, pocket of my Unbound Planner. And it's working beautifully. It has solved that problem of feeling like I can't just take notes or start a list because I have lots of pages. This came with, I think, 38 pages. Um, and I've, you know, only used like maybe the first third or so. So I feel like through the end of the year, it'll give me lots of notes pages to use. And if I use it up, I can just slide it out and get another notebook and stick it in the pocket. And then I do still have blank notes pages actually in my unbound planner so I have more room for things there too but there's just something about having an entirely blank notebook that feels very free and limitless and I don't feel afraid to get in there and start making a list so that is just a tip for you if you use an unbound planner or a planner similar where it's all set up and you don't have a lot of notes pages but you're missing that I mean you could just stick a notepad a line notepad whatever works for you but just to keep that tucked in the back and of course, I always keep a Jordan Essentials um, catalog on hand. And then I just have some other notes and little sticker sheets and stuff in the back. But I'll show you just real quickly, too, that, um, you know, thickness wise, it hasn't really affected it too much having that um, notebook in there. Um, it doesn't bother me. I feel like this, this book is going to look used and loved once the year is up. And that's totally fine. A couple of other things I have on here. This is my affirmation for the month, and this is all coming from my uh, Louise Hay Colors and Numbers, my personal number for the month of July, and I'll get to that in a second, as well as the small numbers. Those are my personal day numbers, and again, that comes from that Louise Hay system. And we are in our summer schedule, which means I'm still working three days a week outside of the home and have kind of a babysitting situation set up, so that's just helping me keep track of that. I'm really excited for Jordanvention, which is our annual convention for Jordan Essentials. Um, one of my good friends, Sarah, and I go. This will be our second year getting to go together off-site. Last year it was virtual. And it's just a wonderful chance for us to really focus on our business. We learn and grow so much as um, business owners and people. <laughs> it's just a fun chance to really get away focus on that part of our lives. Um, of course, we're great friends, so it's also just a fun chance for us to visit and catch up and um, not have to be moms for a little while, <laughs> which is the other highlight for both of us. There's no one needing anything, no one, uh, no dishes to be done, no laundry to be done. You know, it's just a chance to get away. So we're really excited about that. I will go through and add my top three priorities, which is probably still going to include cleaning out that darn office in the living room and then several of my other, you know, goals and tasks for the month. And then I always jot down any birthdays we have in the month or gifts, uh, gift occasions like um, Father's Day, Mother's Day. But in July, it'll just be I think we only have one or two family birthdays. Okay, so that's my monthly setup. Oh, and the final thing that I added to were my Fly Lady zone cleaning notes on the side. So that just reminds me uh, which area of the home we're focusing on zone cleaning. And if you've never done the Fly Lady system, I have a, a little playlist with some of my Fly Lady videos. So I'll link that down below. All right, now turning the page. So the second part of the monthly setup in the Unbound Planner is this page where you have basically just a blank page half lined and half dot grid and this side which has a place for journaling it has some prompts uh, this says ideas this month so it's things ideas to be creative and learn give and help others be connected be healthy take care of myself have fun and relax and I did fill out those last month I didn't really make it like a checklist it was just ideas. It really was just me sort of brainstorming some things I might want to do in each areas in each area of my life for the month of June. Um, the monthly reflection, I usually do pretty good at filling out the first couple of things that I feel like you're sort of looking ahead and thinking about. 
I'm not so good at going back and wrapping up the month and remembering to fill out, you know, the end part or to me what feels like the end part where you're recapping and looking back. So I do want to do that yet for June. And then there is a mid-year review that comes in the Unbound Planner, and I am looking forward to filling that out as well. I haven't started that yet, but that's been on my radar ever since we got back from vacation that I want to sit down one morning and just think about each of these questions and have some time to journal and answer those. All right, then the second page here, the notes page, is what I use for the information from this Louise Hay Colors and Numbers book. So for me, the month of July is a personal month 11-2. So you have to go through and calculate your personal um, number based on your birth date. And the book tells you how to do that. I also have a video where I kind of explain it and walk you through it. So I can link that below too. So for the month of July, the color scheme is black, white, and pearl gray. Silver is the precious metal. And the keyword is intuition. And this just explains a little bit more about that. And the affirmation, I listen to the inner voice of wisdom. So that's what I repeated over here. I couldn't find a sticker to fit this area that I liked. And I thought, well, I'll just use that little flag sticker. And that's from the farmhouse book. Um, and I just hand wrote it in there. So that works too. And of course, these little leaf stickers are from the farmhouse book too. Okay. Then the next page is the beginning of your weekly layout. So this is the first week of July, which actually includes, um, I think, four days of June. No, three days of June, four days of July. So I do go through and fill out the priorities, the goals, the tasks. And down at the bottom, there's a place for daily habits. And I still like using this top half either for notes or sometimes I use it for journaling. And the bottom half that's a dot grid, I will set up my quadrant spread that's from getting things done. So I have a place for errands, contacts I need to make. So that could be phone calls, emails, even just remembering to ask my husband about something when he gets home from work and we both have time to have a conversation. Uh, the business is my Jordan Essentials business tasks for the week. And... Then I usually put my zone cleaning, and it, again, these are things, sometimes I'll go back to my uh, Fly Lady zone cleaning spread, which is right, oh, I was actually on the right page, that's here. So sometimes I'll go back and look through here to get ideas or remember what I need to do. Other times I just know I have certain things that have been on my list for a while or I keep seeing them and I haven't done them, things like replacing light bulbs, and I'll make sure I put that on there. And then the second part of your weekly spread in the Unbound Planner is this page where you have the vertical week and a place for uh, priority items or things you don't want to forget. Your meals for the week, which I love having that there. Um, I usually just plan our dinners and I don't care if I mix it up, but it just gives me a place to think about seven meals for the next week and what are we going to do. A place for gratitude. So when I'm doing my journaling in my daughter's five-year journal each morning, then I'll also open this up and do my little bit of gratitude journaling for the previous day. And the top three priorities at the top, like I said, I'm working on using that. I, I fill it out every day, but I just don't always remember, remember to look at it. I do have those same items listed usually in my to-do list, and that you know, sometimes that works and I remember that that's a priority and sometimes I just avoid it and do all the other things instead. I'm great at procrastinating by doing other things on the list. So uh, I do have my workouts in here. I was tracking water for a little while, so that's why I'm not highlighting or uh, whiting out over that. But I don't know, water for me, I really do drink a lot of water. And so then it just felt like a chore to have to fill in all those little water droplets. And I really don't think it's something that I struggle with. I think for the most part, on most days, I drink plenty of water. So I feel good about that. Um, and then I did start adding these two little circle checklist dots for um, taking my morning and evening supplements. I had kind of gotten out of the habit and I thought, gosh darn it, I have them. Why aren't I taking them? So um, I'm doing pretty good. A lot of times I'll get the morning one in and then I often forget the evening one, but it's, it's helping just to have that to remind me. And I just realized I haven't done it over here for this week. So we'll use the Zig clean color dot marker and go ahead and add that in. And, um, 
I've kind of played around with either doing like an hourly list and sort of blocking out my day. Mondays tend to be a really full day. So when I do that, then the day's filled. Um, so then I have to use a separate page for any kind of checklist of things I want to do that day. So I haven't really found that to be the way I want to use the planner. I, I think I'm going to go back to what I was doing, which is I do write any little appointments at the top, often just like this. I'll write it with the time in one line and underline it in the color that coordinates with whatever it is. And that's where the color coding has been helpful. And then, you know, whatever space is left, I'll just use the dot marker and make a bunch of dots. And that's my checklist for the day. Um, I didn't get the second week set up. The only thing I did was I was just trying out those washi tapes. So I whited out over what was there and just added them in, um, which I think I like. I don't know. They're not, they're not amazing, but it's just nice to be able to see it a little bit better. I am now 43. I had my birthday and had to get my first pair of progressive glasses. And there's just days where I don't want to have to read the really fine faint print. And so I do like having it a bolder, larger font. So that is where we're at with that. And then the rest of the month I have not set up or laid out yet. So hopefully that gave you some ideas, maybe using that little uh, mini bullet journal in the back as a notebook uh, might be something to try if you're running into the same problem I was having where you feel like you need more notes pages. Um, so what I've decided to do is the notes pages that come in the book are is where I'm keeping track of things that are more of a collection like my books to read list and my movies to watch list and um, things like that. And then the the uh, extra notebook or the bullet journal has become the place where I really made a bunch of lists like when we were going on vacation I had page after page of just all the different lists and all the different things I wanted to note um, and that was nice just to feel like I could take as many pages as I wanted and I didn't have to worry so that is my setup in my Unbound Planner for the month of July 2021. I hope this finds you doing well. I hope that uh, maybe life is getting a little easier. I know with COVID around here, it's still up and down, but it is feeling like um, things are lightening up a little. We're taking it one day at a time, one week at a time, and usually planning out a month ahead is about the most I feel comfortable doing still, but that's okay. All right, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below so I know which videos you enjoy seeing. I have not been posting that regularly through the summer months. It's just not been something I can get in there every week. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to bring you at least one video a week. And hopefully in the fall once school starts and we're sort of back to more routine where I have some time available um, then I can get back to some better posting schedules. But in the meantime, I appreciate your patience. So thanks again. Have a good one. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.